I am Sheila Kim Kozak. I was born in Chicago, Illinois. I was reborn in San Francisco, though. I came here in 78. And when I got here, I didn't have any place to stay. I didn't even know anybody in this city. So we had to get the bus so I'd have a place to live. I've been homeless all my life. My bus is my house. If I hadn't moved here, I wouldn't be spiritually enlightened. And I, and I consider myself spiritually enlightened as an individual. I'm not a judgmental person. And I was a lot narrower before I came here to where I didn't have a, a larger eye to see that people are taken in by illusions. I thought this was flower power. You know, it was like uh, the 60s. But I read in Rolling Stone in the Midwest, the propaganda that I was spilled upon. There was flower children and music in the grass in the park. Nobody told me I shouldn't come here. I told you never to go there. Nobody ever said that to me, okay? But you know, a lot of bad ends can happen to people. I've had some strange experiences here. That, you know, I, that's why I stay to myself more now. My understanding is that this was a, you know, a gold town. This is where everybody brought the gold from Stockton, you know, up in that area where they did get the, the big vein. Mr. Sutro, he built the culture of this city. He made Golden Gate Park and the Panhandle, and they're all imported trees. It's a sand dune. But he spent all of his wealth making these things, these cultural things for the people here. And then he was destroyed. San Francisco's a place to visit. But don't spend all your money here. It's like Walt Disney World. What's money? Not enough. <laughs> Not enough. Gay life, I think that everybody should be as gay as they should be, okay? As long as they don't hurt each other. The love that you seek will never be found in your home. So you have to travel out. You have to find your own experience. It's not up to me to say if it's right or wrong. It's an individual thing, <laughs> okay? The mind is a beautiful playground, provided you don't want to hurt anybody. Judge not, least you be judged. Freedom holds itself, doesn't it? Wherever you find it, you go there. You have to see how big that little picture is. The State of the, the Union picture of the United States is only that big. It takes you a long time to figure out that it's a lot bigger than that. It's what makes you feel good makes you feel good. What is really gay, it's happy. Not one policeman helped me ever in any event. They, the police were the worst experience I ever had. The cops in the city are dangerous, more dangerous than the people in the city. The other day when I got stopped by the cops, uh, they, called in a, they called in my name, rank, and serial number, and what came back over the intercom was, she fucked the cops once. Now that's no way for a cop to talk about somebody that's being, you know, checked. The new rich, they just come in, they don't really have a history of San Francisco. You know, they don't know about Coit Tower, they don't know about the, the painted ladies, you know, all the houses that were, that were delicately made for that era of time. One vote to the next, they're all cheaters. They're all rip-offs, and they're very rich, and they get away with it. That's how I feel about politics and the way that they're run. I think there's a lot of crookery upstairs in the higher places, and that they accuse what they consider lower life or lesser life or insignificant people. There's no way the poor is ever going to get it out of the hands of the rich. Okay, what trickles down cr trickles down, and crime is a must. It took, must have taken a lot of crime to get to where they're at already, okay? There's nobody that goes out and digs gold anymore and then does something for somebody else. Nobody rolls their tongue for anybody's free ride, except for their own. <laughs>